Okay, I was going to show something that um, has hung me up in the past, and I've seen it hang other people up. Um, it's actually really simple, but uh, if you're new to Profinet, in particular uh, TIA Portal, uh, just a, a quick setting that you got to watch out for. It can really uh, hold up your day. Um, so here's a real simple... Uh, Profi uh, Net and Profi Bus Network dropped in a, a HMI to a little 1200, um, and I just drug over the you, know, you just drag the connection over, connected it, told it to use the uh, assigned it to the uh, PLC. Uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, this guy here is on the Ethernet side of the the display or any other Ethernet device. There are two uh, facets of uh, Ethernet, of Profinet. One's the regular Ethernet uh, IP address. Uh, th that's going to have to match. Then there's a second piece that kind of helps you uh, make sure that you're identifying not just some device with the correct address, but the actual device itself. Uh, I made up this name, HMI1, but it is a name I made up. Um, you can get in trouble because, you know, default is going to want to generate a name, and if you have that uh, selected, even though you've programmed this HMI with a name, this is going to generate a different name, and then you're not going to get connected. You're going to have download problems, and they won't talk to each other once you get your program in. So you don't want that connected. Uh, typically, I leave uh, this one off as well. Um, that way I can type in the name that I want. Uh, I did directly set this name. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it doesn't really matter how I did it. So that name has to match. Don't let it generate one. It, unless you want the system to generate a name. Um, and then you can uh, make sure that the after the first download, just everything gets its right name. I like to kind of pick names that make sense for the project, and then uh, set them myself, and not let the uh, PLC uh, do that for me. And of course, you got to have the right uh, IP address. Um, and you know that's. Uh, pretty much it. Just wanted to show that and make sure that you know these two both match. If they don't both match, the device won't talk to the uh, to the master. So that's a little bit different than um, some other protocol, Ethernet protocols that you just if you get the address right it's gonna start trying to talk to the device even though maybe you set that address in something it's not the type of device by accident and it can give you some weird uh, results uh, or non results. Um, and uh, the only other thing about TIA Portal with these HMIs, uh, if the firmware doesn't uh, line up, it will, uh, you know, ask you if you want to uh, update it. Uh, it's one of those little screens that pop up. Uh, I know it's easy just to go yes, click, without reading it, but it actually will update the firmware in your HMI. Uh, no problem unless for some reason you're at a customer's plant and he still hasn't done the auto updates to get up to that uh, that level then you can kind of screw his project up uh, and you'll have to you know reflash it uh, to a lower level uh, which can just you know take some time so that can be annoying for him if you just uh, click yes to everything that pops up and uh, let it update all the firmware and leave him with uh, the task of uh, downgrading uh, the firmware to his plant standard. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.